New tonight, sandwich giant Subway makes a major announcement. A dough conditioner, a dough conditioner, an ingredient that's also found in yoga mats and other plastic mm. products, is being removed from their bread. It's found in both shoe rubber and yoga mats, and soon it will be missing from the bread on your Subway sandwich. A zolodica carbonate of mine, a isada carmine. Azo dicarbonamide. According to the Food and Drug Administration, this 16 letter additive is commonly used as a dough conditioner in bread baking around the U.S. Normally, I don't read what's in ingredients, I just kind of trust and know what's in it. When it comes to eating fast and fresh, Subway is a leader in the industry. But recent pressure from consumers for a fresher, more wholesome product has Subway making changes to its recipe. It's not a necessary ingredient for food safety, and so why are we use, still using it here in the United States when it's been banned around the world? Laura Nemus is a registered dietitian and executive director of the Nutrition Council. She says that the additive found in Subway's bread is an element found in many products, both edible and non-edible. Even though it's the same chemical, it's different qualities of the chemicals, and they're used in different amounts. So we're really not eating plastic, we're just eating one compound that's used both in food and in plastics. So what can you do to ensure that you and your family are eating safe and natural products? Nima says your best bet is stick to the basics. <laughs> well, we always say if you have to read it, don't eat it. Um, I, we really encourage people to eat food in its most natural form and as close to nature as possible. If you can't read it, don't eat it. Subway has more than 4,000 locations across the U.S. No word yet on when they'll begin to serve the new additive-free bread.